Hey there, gang. The time is 1:56 p.m. on the West Coast, and I'm I'm at a I'm at a, a diner of sorts. I don't want to drop names because I don't want them to sue us, but uh, I don't want to drop names because I don't want to get any uh, legal hot water. But uh, you know, welcome to another exciting episode of Class Reviews. With, welcome to another exciting episode of Class Reviews with Ian Steele. I'm Ian Steele. Welcome to another exciting episode of Creepy Christmas Music with Ian Steele. I'm Ian Steele, and today we're gonna we're gonna review a, a imaginary movie, uh, the the latest uh, film by uh, the talented young Mr. Donnie O'Connor. Imagine, imagine a movie is, is a spoof film of sorts that uh, Donnie made. That is a spoof of uh, various films and things, such as The Purge and Bill Cosby. It's it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty long. It's uh, visually it's leaps and bounds above you know all the other. All above, uh, uh, you know, Perfume and Guns, Evan and Hunter, everything that you've come to expect with Donnie O'Connor in the past. It actually, this is hot. It looks a lot better than those two things. The cinematography is a lot better. Better. <laughs> I know what words are. Don't fucking. Uh, the editing is better. Visually, it's better. Uh, but from a from a. But from a writing, but from a writing standpoint, from a from a storyline standpoint, and I think just generally as an audience member who doesn't uh, take into consideration certain technical aspects when going into watching a film, um, it's the kind of movie that makes me want to uh, uh, build a time machine and uh, go back in time and uh, and 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 find Jesus right as, right about as he was about to go on the cross and be like, don't don't do it. It's not worth it. Don't do it for us. And, uh, you know, it's that, it's that kind of movie. But, you know, overall, for a Donnie O'Connor movie, it's a, it's not awful, you know? It's better, like I said before, it's better than what you come to expect if you've seen Perfume and Guns, if you've seen Evan and Hunter. If you enjoyed those, I don't know why you would, but if you enjoyed those, you're gonna... You're gonna like imaginary movie a, a lot more. I don't know, I feel like I'm being a little mean here. The point is... What, it, wasn't, it wasn't the worst thing that's ever happened to me, you know? It wasn't the worst thing that's ever happened to me was a uh, was probably uh, it was probably yesterday when I went to go. Um, actor and comedian Dennis Hurley is a good friend of mine. He's working on my latest film, Afterthought. I'll tell you more about that later. Probably not right now, but uh, he's working on that film. And on set uh, recently, he left his uh, his toothbrush and toothpaste there on set. So yesterday, I had to go deliver it to him. So I took a uh, so I took a, and once again, I don't want to like name drop any companies or ads or anything, but I uh, I used my cellular telephone to have a, 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 a car of sorts from a company come to my come to my home, and uh, and it signaled by my telephone and drive me to a location designated by me by paying them with a credit card that I gave them the information for and the, the Uber that I took dropped me off the Uber that I took dropped me off at, at, a, at the coffee shop on Franklin Avenue where I was supposed to meet with him this is like the northernmost street in Hollywood for those of you who aren't familiar with the LA area uh, Draw me off at the coffee shop on Franklin Ave I met with him, we had a nice little chat I dropped off his toothbrush and toothpaste and uh, at this point, my phone wasn't very well charged. It was about 50% when I left the house. I left my phone charger at a, uh, at a friend of mine, at the house of a friend of mine uh, very recently, so I couldn't charge it. So I didn't have a lot of battery left. Uh, what I should have done is uh, called, up another, uh, called up another Uber and uh, found my way back home to Tarzana. But uh, you know what? I was in Hollywood. It's a, it's a nice place to be. It's a nice place to be, and I figured, you know what? I might as well kill some time here. I might as well go around, do some sightseeing, do some things. And you know what? What I, what I did was uh, I looked up the, the directions for an internet cafe, because there was a thing that I had to go do. I can't tell you entirely about it. Let's say I had to send an email or something. Fuck it. I had to go, I had to go send an email anonymously from a computer that couldn't be traced back to me. Don't worry, don't, just don't worry about the technical aspects of it. Point is, I followed the directions to an internet cafe that was supposedly on Highland Avenue. Um, I got there. There was not an internet cafe. I was misled by my phone, by the directions that were there, that were presented to me, and uh, 
So at that point, my phone was down to like a two or three percent. I had and I had a I had two options. I could either use what battery was left to get another Uber and just go back home and charge my phone for later in the day, or I could uh I could pull up directions for another internet cafe that was supposedly on Hollywood Boulevard, that was supposedly within walking distance of where I was at the time. And uh, so I could go do the thing that I needed to do from a computer that couldn't be traced back to me, and also, while I was there, uh, send an email to my roommate or a friend or whoever saying, SOS, my phone's dead and I'm trapped in Hollywood Boulevard. Anyways, I decided to roll the dice, go find that internet cafe that didn't exist. Turns out, it, uh, I don't know if you knew this, but uh, the year is 2015 and internet cafes are not a thing anymore. So the point is, the internet cafe was not there. My phone died while I'm standing between a uh, uh, Gary Cooper and a... Uh, this is some other guy on Hollywood Boulevard. My phone's dead. I'm stranded on Hollywood Boulevard. I say, fuck it. I go to Panda Express. I buy myself a nice meal. And I took a nap on a basketball court. By the time I was done, there was about 2.30 in the p.m. Around 4.30, I was supposed to meet with some friends at the LACMA, the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. I was supposed to meet with them there. So I was like, hey, I guess the best way to get home is... Uh, you know, go meet with my friends who are supposed to be at the LACMA at this point in time. And so I, I set about going to get to the LACMA at 4.30. And I set about, and since I don't have my phone, my phone's completely dead, I, I go about doing that by uh, finding a random direction and starting to walk in it aimlessly. And that's how I was going to go about finding the LACMA. Eventually I got some instructions from some people at a, at a CVS that it was on a that was on Wilshire and Fairfax. So I start walking, eventually find Wilshire. It's a very nice street. By the way, there's a lot of nice things along it. I'm glad I had this experience because I got to do some nice sightseeing around Hollywood and around the Los Angeles area. I got to, to see some nice things. I got some exercise because I walked over six miles that day. Uh, but in total, would not recommend it because I spent eighty dollars trying to get home. Got on a Wilshire, ended up walking towards uh, Fairfax, eventually found LACMA. Got to LACMA, very nice place. Uh, would highly recommend going there. And uh, I got there, and I decided to chill out in the courtyard area and uh, wait for my friends who were going to be there. And I uh, then I waited for two hours, and they didn't show up. And eventually got to a point where it was around uh, 7 or 8 p.m. at night. And I was like, mm, fuck it, I'm tired of waiting. So I walked to a, I walked to another CVS, and I bought a phone charger for thirty dollars. And then I ducked into a random building, where I, which is just where I noticed the nearest free power outlet to be. And I went there and there, and I started charging my phone at that power outlet, right next to this bench where this person was sitting, who at first I thought was an eight-year-old boy, but then I looked him in the face, and he looked like a thirty-year-old man. It was a very lynching experience throughout the day. Things just got progressively more and more surrealist, and I felt more and more like. I was in a dream and I charged my phone and I got another Uber and I got home and it was very late and that's the worst thing that ever happened to me. Turns out it's not an imaginary movie by Donnie O'Connor which is a, a, a B out of five. So there you go. I mean still have a, have a ha happy holidays.